Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Yes, my hair is crazy. I just want to say that. I just threw it up again. So this is who it is. This is what it is. This is life, real life, guys. All right, so it's um, I'm back with the second video to show you guys the tortellini soup. And I'm starting to make my great, my grill, my great, my grilled cheeses now to go with the soup. Jenny's having a quesadilla because she doesn't want grilled cheese. So I figured I offered her a great a quesadilla. She doesn't like this kind of soup, so she's going to have quesadillas tonight. So that's fine. So I'm going to start making the quesadillas, but let me show you the soup, guys. Now, I'll tell you, I, tell, I told you about how it evaporates. I've added a lot more water and a couple of bouillons, and that it's done now. The tortellini's in it. I put tortellini in it, and I put some noodles in it because I only had one pound of tortellini. So that's what I did. And right now, if I had more chicken broth, I would add more chicken broth. I might add a little bit more water to it just so it has a little bit more broth because we do like the broth. So that's the tortellini soup, guys. I'm so excited, but it tastes amazing. Amazing. All right, so right here, guys, I got a, I got a pan, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, I'm going to put you down for one minute, okay? Sorry about all the movement, but it is, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to put butter down, a little bit of butter. I'll show you. I'm going to make the quesadillas first, and then I'm going to make the grilled cheeses. What I do is I put a piece of butter down, guys, for the quesadilla. Because you got to have butter. It makes it nice and brown. Jenny doesn't really like hers brown, so I keep the flame pretty low because I don't want hers to be brown, otherwise she won't freaking eat it. She won't eat it. So I have butter there. I'm going to put one of the tortillas down. Leave it down. I'm going to lower the flame because, like I said, she doesn't like it brown. Okay, let me turn you around. Okay, what I do, see there? I put one of the tortillas down. Okay. Now I'm going to take the cheese right here. I have shredded um, mild cheddar right here. I'm going to put some in. Nice amount. Not, not too much, guys, because it spreads out. Okay. Keeping this on low now. I'm going to put the other one on top. Push it down with my hands a little bit. Only because I like to do that. So it just, you know, sticks a little bit. I'll show you. And here it is, guys. Cook it in there, and I will turn it over in like two minutes. I'll show you when I turn it over, okay? I think I'm going to make her two of those because it is dinner. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll make um, maybe I'll make the, the, the Caesar salad tonight. That's really good because I just have to throw it, in the, in the, um, throw it in the bowl. I think that's what I'll do. But I'll probably, I don't know, maybe I'll make her one and a half and then make um, some Caesar salad, like I just said. Um, okay, so I'm pressing this down. Let's show you from here. Okay. Pressing this down with a spatula. See? Now, I'm going to flip this now because it's definitely, that is how she, she doesn't even like it like that. So I'm going to have to fake it. I'm going to turn it over. But that, no, that'll be fine for her. As long as it's not burnt or really, really crispy, she likes it. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait till this is. And butter, guys, I use butter for my um for my quesadillas and for my grilled cheese. I like it had a little butter in there because it just it browns it up a little bit and makes it a little crispy. If you want it crispy, like I said, Jenny doesn't really want crispy, but it makes it just delicious. So I'm going to make her two of these because it's dinner, so I'm pretty sure she will. Uh, we have no paper dishes. I hate when I run out of paper dishes because we have to use regular plates, but what are you going to do? All right, guys, this one is done. See? Look at that. Awesome. So I'm going to put the other one in. I'm going to put another little dab of butter. I'm going to make, like I said, a little dab of butter. Let that get. 
Yeah, I'm gonna higher the flame a little bit because I lowered it before. But when you first put it in, I want the flame a little bit high. This way you can get um, you can get it a little brown. Okay. Put some cheese on. Okay. Let me show you how much cheese I put on. Go and you make it how, how you like it, guys. You know, of course. Put more cheese, put less cheese, put chicken, put, I don't know, salsa, whatever you want to do. You make it how you make it. Okay, let's put this, the top on. Like I said, I press it down a little bit. Just on all, all the sides so it gets a little bit stuck together. In this case, I'm going to lower it just a little bit because, like I said, I don't want Jenny's um, to be really brown. I put, I saved this little piece of butter because I put too big of a piece in. So I took it out of the frying pan, and I'll put that back in when I turn it over. So you just press it. I lower it a little bit too much. Press it down so it melts. Yeah, and I'll put some of this butter here. Ooh, the cheese is coming out a little bit. All right, guys, let's press it down. And we'll have two quesadillas for her. Then I'm going to get started on the grilled cheeses, guys. Hallelujah. I've been singing that song. Why? I don't know. It's in my head. All right, so this one is done, guys. We'll take this out. We're going to put it on her plate here. I'm going to leave it here. My back is killing me. I think I'm going to have to go to the doctor, guys. I really do. I think I'm going to have to go to the chiropractor. Um, since this pan is dirty already, I'll probably make the grilled cheeses on here. So here you go, guys. There's Jenny's quesadillas. Okay, so we'll do that. And let's get the, let's turn you around so you can see how I make the grilled cheeses. Turn you around. Okay. Now, I've always made my grilled cheeses like this. I'll show you. Oh, I gotta get mustard out. My husband likes mustard. I gotta ask him if he wants one or two. Let me see if he wants one or two. All right, guys, we're both just going to have one because we also have, like, you know, um, pasta, you know, the, the, the tortellini and stuff in the soup. So one is enough. So what I'm going to do, he likes mustard on his. Well, I don't know, but he does. So to each his own. Okay. I don't like mustard on my grilled, grilled cheese. Where is the cheese? I actually have Colby Jack. Colby and Monterey Jack. I'm gonna put, we like it very cheesy. <gasps> Ow, my back is killing me. Oh my God, my back is killing me. I'm gonna put two slices of Colby Jack. And what I usually do is, I didn't do it this time, but I usually put the butter, I put the butter on the bread, but I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm gonna just, um, is the butter really soft? Let me see, I think it is. No, it's not soft enough. So I'll put butter in the pan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two pieces of Colby Jack and Monterey Jack. I'm going to open up this yummy processed cheese, which I love. It's perfect for grilled cheese. It's perfect. Um, put one on that. I'm going to do a piece and a half, so... I can just get it open. These things are such a pain in the booty. Here. And then I'm going to put that like that. His on him. Oh, I can still do the, I still could still do the, um, I'm going to take the butter like this so I can, because what I like to do is I like to put the butter on the bread. I put two little slight, two little pieces on the bread like that. And then when I put it in the pan, 
um, this way you don't have to, you know, put it in the pan. And then um, I'll put another piece on the other on this side. I mean, I'll lay this down, you know, I'll lay this down on the butter side. And then um, when I do it, when I smush it, um, I'll put more butter on. All right, guys. Now, I love, I always have made my grilled cheese sandwiches like really flat. You know, and my my nephews, when they were young, used to come over, and they used to love the way I made my sandwiches. They said, oh, my mommy doesn't make it like this. You know how people make the grilled cheeses, and they just let the, they don't really smush them? Mine are always smushed down. That's always how I've made them. Everybody loves them, so that's how I do it. All right, so I'm going to put this in the pan. I'm gonna put, I could probably fit the two in here, hopefully. Hopefully. You don't really hear that sizzle because yeah, we can fit these in here. They're gonna they're gonna shrivel down a little bit. The flame is pretty low. So here they are. Now once I flatten them a little bit, guys, with the spatula, then I'll turn them over. I'll put butter on the side on the on this side of it. That's why you have to kind of have soft butter, otherwise you'll rip the bread. Or you could just throw a piece on and just turn it over and it'll melt. It's not it's not it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna let these cook a little bit. Now, um, my hubby likes his pretty crispy. Not crispy, but brown. I like mine, you know, lightly brown. So I'm gonna let this cook, and when I turn it over, I'll show you guys. All right, guys. Mine's on the left there. It's a little browner than I wanted, but it's fine. I like it like that, it's fine. And that's Bill's, with the one with the mustard. So we're just letting those cook. Those are gonna be done in like five minutes. Not even three minutes, two minutes, and we'll make um, we'll make our plates, guys. And then I'll show you how the soup came out and how the grilled cheeses look. Okay, okay, guys, bye. I'll be back. All right, guys. Here's Jenny's quesadilla. Yummy. Here's my soup. There's my grilled cheese, and there's Bill's grilled cheese. He already brought his soup inside. That's fine. The same soup as me. So this is what we're having for dinner, guys. Soup and sandwich night. All right, guys. So I hope you like this video. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the bottom. Um, when you, and when you, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like it because it really helps my channel. Love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. And um, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.